Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Leo April 2019 horoscope forecast, part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is, as far as April goes, the sun will be in Aries from the 1st until the 20th. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus and attention on philosophy, religion, higher education, publishing, in-laws, grandchildren, uh, going outside the box, so to speak, figuratively speaking, uh, expanding horizons, traveling abroad, and uh, really, and, and even uh, really at this time too, I mean, given that uh, this is uh, Aries uh, energy, um, and also, I want to say this is publishing as well. Now, given this is Aries energy, this could be done with a lot of uh, assertive and aggressive energy, very forceful, uh, with a lot of courage. There's a lot of initiative and enterprise. If you're doing anything uh, ninth house related this time, Leo, this is a time where you likely will have very little hesitation or procrastination as far as doing it. Um, if you're embarking on some new higher education course, uh, it could be done with a lot of courage and fortitude. And really, as I stated before, excuse me, little hesitation as far as uh, that goes. And uh, also, too, uh, it could be done with a lot, a little bit of impulsive energy, these matters. So just be careful this time, Leo, that you basically you look before you leap. Uh, so to speak, and uh, really uh, as far as ninth house matters go at this time. It could also be about uh, focusing in some cases on the contentious situation with an in-law or grandchild or maybe someone you know well at some religious congregation or person at some high, uh, at a college university you may know. Anyway, next thing up is, well, as far as April goes, the sun will be in Taurus from the 20th until the 30th. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, uh, there could be a strong concentration of energy, uh, focus and attention on one's uh, career, uh, status and recognition, the dominant parent, which is all from the father, success, stature in life, social status, uh, perhaps attaining a position of authority. It could be business matters and even uh, authority figures uh, as well. And also the public image and reputation. Now at this time, given this is Taurus energy, this may be done with a lot of uh, persistence and determination. A lot of, uh, I mean, really a lot very good powers of concentration, but very plotting and methodical and deliberate manner uh, as well, but also with a lot of patience and perseverance. Now, uh, the thing about this too is, uh, remember that the, the sun could be about the dominant males or authority, people in authority. It could be the, it could be the, uh, actually could even be, could be the father in some cases. So, I mean, this could be a time where that, the, a person that could be the dominant male, could be a father, uh, could really figure prominently perhaps in your 10th house matters at this time. It could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Taurus-like characteristics, a person that might be somewhat obstinate, stubborn, or bullheaded, but also very loyal, stable, and steadfast. Now, also too, um, it could also shine the light, so to speak, on some kind of authority figure or dominant parent or somebody that's prominent in your career that's got that case of the stubborns or rather obstinate uh, at this time. So anyway, next thing up. There will be a new moon in Aries on April 5th. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. Well, um, this could manifest in multitude of ways. This could be. Uh, I mean, very good period, of course, because this is, of course, the new moon and in that sign of Aries. I mean, Aries is associated with new beginnings and enterprise and initiative and energy and, and really about really vigorous energy. So this could be a time uh, where you may, uh, well, in some cases, actually, this could just simply be a new Aries uh, in-law or grandchild. Uh, at this time and as far as an in-law goes it could be an Aries sun moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies Aries like characteristics you might embark 
or start on a new Aries type higher education. It could be something with surge, learning to be a surgeon, or could be um, EMT. Uh, could be something with anthropology, perhaps learning to uh, perhaps do something uh, as far as uh, as far as anything that could be Aries uh, related. It could be doing some even brain surgery if you want to be more specific, but it could be surgery uh, as well. Welding, carpentry, uh, something with law enforcement, perhaps could also be a time uh, to where you might begin an Aries publishing uh, endeavor or maybe begin to start uh, a publishing process with a lot of initiative and enterprise. Something Aries uh, publisher related could be something connected with self-defense or uh, something with surgery, something with sports, uh, uh, perhaps anything that could be uh, something associated with the head, anything that could be Aries uh, related and now in some cases this could also um, manifest perhaps in uh, it could be uh, in some cases maybe um, a, a new a new uh, confrontation unfortunately it could be something connected with the law or it may even be with an in-law or a grandchild now as far as uh, as far as this goes a lot of this could be I mean uh, predicated to so some issue with the law or a new battle with the law, a new combative situation. A lot of this could be dependent predicated also on as other aspects that are made at this time through transits. I mean, let's say if you have uh, transiting Mars making an adverse aspect to your natal law, this could indicate, this could reaffirm uh, issues perhaps with law enforcement, law enforcement contentious situations. I mean, Saturn, if, if transit Mars making an adverse aspect to Saturn, or uh, I mean Saturn is connected with authority or and even Jupiter is the law so any if the transit Mars is making adverse aspect to your natal Mars Saturn or even Jupiter it can reinforce this and um, in any way uh, well the next thing I want to uh, get at uh, is that there will be a full moon in Libra on April 19th so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted now at this time uh, this could be a time, um, when you're talking about full moon astrology, it could be a time where one becomes very tired, full, exasperated at something. It could be somebody, it could be a sibling, a cousin, a neighbor, someone that's prominent in your short journeys uh, that could be exhibiting some kind of superficial charm or a person or one of these people may be, uh, you might see them as overly indolent or complacent or over or just too peace loving. And, and really not really willing to make a stand or or confront anyone or anything. It could be something like that. And also in some cases, you're talking about a full moon astrology, it could represent the culmination or completion or ending of something. This could be the end of a Libra-like writing. It could be something where uh, associated with graphic art or it could be a romantic or love uh, novel something that may be uh, connected with beauty perhaps or something associated with the law and justice anything that could be uh, Libra uh, related uh, anything communication or writing could come to an end at this time this could also be a time where you feel you've completed uh, a point in your life where you have that balance in your communications now also too this could be about the uh, unveiling or revelation in some cases of uh, could be a criminal background uh, that's revealed or unveiled with could be some with a sibling a cousin or a neighbor perhaps uh, I could be uh, someone you know that's prominent in your short journeys it could be a person you know from your early uh, education and um, Anyway, uh, this is also something too. Uh, remember that the third house is also about our uh, our local transportation. It could be something that comes out as well that's unveiled or revealed. Something that wasn't fair or equitable, perhaps connected with your vehicle. If somebody had worked on it, uh, perhaps and did some mechanical work, and maybe you find out you were overcharged uh, at this time. I mean, it could be something uh, something of that nature. 
uh, as well. And also, too, this could be about where a legal settlement, uh, maybe with a neighbor or a cousin, a sibling, uh, or someone you knew from your early uh, education, maybe is completed at this time, or a compromise or reconciliation or negotiation is completed with a third house uh, person uh, at this time. So anyway, hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that. Next thing up. Well, uh, as far as April goes, Mercury will be in Pisces from the 1st until the 17th. So the 8th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, this could be a time where you may be, uh, Leo, involved with some ambiguous and cryptic uh, communications, perhaps with somebody that you're in an intimate or sexual relationship with, a shared resources situation with. Uh, it could be with people... Uh, maybe an insurance uh, it could also be too as i've stated in previous videos that mercury can also be about siblings this could be a time where uh pisces siblings they could be pisces sun moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody pisces like characteristics might figure more prominently in crisis situations it could be matters with insurance uh, it could be making a major transformation or change or, or with shared resources. Now, whether they're actually beneficial or more to your detriment, a lot of that could be predicated and dependent on aspects that this makes to points in your natal chart. I mean, if this makes, say, an adverse aspect to your natal Saturn, they might be causing more sorrow and dejection and it may you know, causing uh, despondency in some of these uh, matters and in delays and I mean so it's really that that could be you know something there where it could be more to your detriment or uh, if it makes a let's say it makes a, a sexta or trine to your natal Jupiter they might actually be, be more auspicious for those matters now it's a time too where you might be more I mean susceptible to uh, insurance or some kind of credit card fraud at this time more so than usual i mean because at this time or because uh, mercury can also be associated with thieves and it's a time too where uh, i mean you're you're talking about uh pisces is a sign connected with deception and duplicity so it could be a little bit easier for thieves to pull the wool over your eyes so to speak at this time in those matters so just be careful leo at this time be more careful and prudent than usual if you're uh, if somebody's calling you in the middle of the night and they say it's your bank or they uh, they want your you know credit card information and you know trying to you know, trying to verify this saying well I'm trying to verify who you are or you get some message on the computer or something a, a email from your bank saying you need to verify a credit card number or some kind of insure anything um, where where you might where you know sounds a little bit shady it very well might might be that so you've got to be extra careful at this time now you could be thinking more in terms of self-sacrifice uh at this time regarding eighth house matters regarding the shared resources situation and maybe even matters if you're in like say a business connection with someone or a person you're in a sexual or intimate uh relationship with uh at this time so anyway um next thing up mercury will be in aries as far as april goes from the 17th until the 30th so the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time well this could be a time where you might be very direct and forthright and outspoken in your communications with in-laws with grandchildren uh it could be matters pertaining to the law uh also too it, this is also a time too where you might be exhibiting more uh, original pioneering thinking as far as thinking going outside the box and expanding your horizons uh, at this uh, time and also as I've stated before uh, Mercury can also be about siblings this could be about Aries siblings they could be Aries Sun Moon or Ascendant people or simply ones that embody Aries characteristics uh, might figure more prominently in your philosophy uh, it could be religious matters it could be your higher education uh, publishing anything that could be ninth house uh, related and also too you might find yourself at this time 
uh, also writing, uh, perhaps writing something Aries related and, or getting something published that was uh, that you just finished writing at this time. Uh, that could be Aries related. It could be something uh, matters with perhaps courage or uh, could be like firefighting or matters, uh, anything with self-defense, uh, something uh, that could be, I mean, Aries could be sports. It could be something with surgery, anything that might be something, again, associated with perhaps courage or valor or fortitude uh, at this time. I mean, this could be something where, and it could also be something too at this time, uh, as I've stated before, that Mercury can also be connected uh, with thieves. It could be, uh, I mean, you're talking about Aries energy. These are people that could be more uh, direct and in contrast to the Pisces energy in terms of they're going to take something from you, something where it could be like a getting held up uh, point blank. And it's really uh, be very careful if you're traveling abroad at this time. Uh, Leo or you're dealing uh, or you're going on some uh, you're going somewhere with in-laws or grandcha or grandchildren at this time uh, anything uh, or even at some religious congregation or, or at your college university it's uh, important to be a little bit more careful than usual as far as those matters go now anyway Last but not least, Venus will be in Pisces as far as April goes from the 1st until the 20th. So the 8th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, well, this will be a time too uh, for you, Leo, where you might feel uh, more like uh, maybe making some kind of spiritual uh, transformation. Uh, some cases it could be like a detox uh, transformation for some could also be a time where you might be more susceptible to some kind of credit card or insurance uh, deception or fraud. Now, the thing about this too is, I mean, you're talking about um, Venus and Pisces energy. I mean, when Venus is in Pisces, it's generally a time where, where people can be more susceptible to financial deception, financial fraud. And, I mean, you're looking at the eighth house. I mean, obviously, this might cause... Uh, more than just a little uh, crisis at this time if this were uh, to happen but again a lot of this could be dependent predicated on aspects this makes the points in your chart or other transits I mean say if this is making an adverse aspect to your natal Neptune or natal Neptune makes an adverse aspect to your natal Venus or second house cusp or even second house ruler it could indicate a greater propensity for this these kind of things to happen but also it could be a time where you're valuing a lot of self-sacrifice compassion and altruism in eighth house matters such as shared resources situations or if you're in a business connection with someone or even with an in someone you're in an intimate or sexual relationship with now at this time Leo, if you are unattached, it could be a time where you might connect with a Pisces sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Pisces-like characteristics. It could be somebody that might be in like an eighth house type profession, such as a psychologist, or somebody that's in the astrology, occult, supernatural, a tax examiner, someone that might be in insurance, and also given it's the eighth house, someone that you want a deep connection with perhaps as well something that's not superficial and anyway that will conclude this youtube astrological segment for my leo april 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two stay tuned next time where i'll be giving you my leo april 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two two things i want to get with you on before i head out Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you to make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Till next time, people, stay well.